Hey guys, it's Common Sense Survivalist here today, and I'm going to be doing a review on the Life Straw water filter. Uh, I know a lot of people talk about it and how you can basically just drink straight from a stream or a gully like this. This is actually drainage from a field. We have a couple fields around here that the water drains from, and we just had a pretty big rain last night, so uh, I'm trying to do this review before the water runs out because fields dry up pretty quick and the water goes you know away from here so um, I'm gonna do a quick little review on it my thoughts and what I think about it so uh, let's get right into it okay so uh, as you can see this life straw filter is a uh, sky blue color it's also got the dark blue caps uh, when I bought it it came with this blue lanyard here that you can remove with clips it's got these little uh, C-shaped clips on it. That way you can clip it on these little plastic rails on the side here. Uh, I decided to replace it with some gutted 550 paracord that's black. Uh, the reason I gutted it is because uh, you can't actually get regular 550 with the inner strands through this little rail they put on there for their lanyard. So I decided to add that on there just for uh, just because I felt like it because I always feel like paracord's better than regular polycord uh, lanyards. It's got the removable caps as you can see, but the only way to fully remove them is if you were to clip this plastic uh, plastic piece off because plastic piece is attached to the actual wire filter itself. Uh, it's got the Life Straw, the Life Straw logo on it, obviously. It's got a couple directions here. One that shows how to drink from it and another way to use uh, to care for it. One of them is showing person drinking from something, and another is somebody blowing through it to get the water out, because it, it says in the directions that it recommends after every about 10 gallons, as you guess, as you can estimate, uh, to actually blow water regularly through, through the life straw, just to make sure that you're not clogging it with any sort of uh, debris or uh, particles or minerals like that. Uh, so it just says to keep it from clogging. You want to blow through it regularly. Um, I got it for $20 at my local Shields store. Uh, I was there with my relatives for a birthday thing. My birthday's coming up here in about a week and a half. And for $20, you know, it's probably pretty nice. I, I was going to buy a rocket stove, but I thought that, well, I can always just use a fire instead of a rocket stove. So, I decided to get this and a stainless steel water bottle. Uh, as you can see, it's just regular stainless steel. It's got a black cap that you, get under, you can unscrew. And it's got a rubber seal around it to keep your liquid in there. Uh, I've used it once, actually, but not doing anything survival or camping related. Uh, it was just for water taken to school. It's actually pretty good. Uh, the only problem I have about it is that Obviously, when it's just regular metal, I was taking it around and I accidentally tapped it against a wall and I got some long scratches along it. So, that's the only thing I don't like about it. It's called the Clean T Canteen. I also got it for $20, so both things were $20 because I only had $40 to spend. Uh, so, I'm going to try this water filter out right here at the creek behind me. And uh, I'll let you go. You guys know what I think about it. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm right here next to the creek running by me. It's just a pretty small one. Uh, I've got both the caps uncapped. And I'm going to take a couple drinks from it and just see how it tastes. I've never actually drank any of this water because it comes from the fields. And with our farmers, you know, here in Iowa, you're never sure if they put pesticides or chemicals on it yet. So, just to be safe, I never drank the water. Uh, so... Hopefully, this did say that it filters out pathogens and bacteria, anything, microscopic organisms, you know, things of that nature. But as far as I know, our farmer hasn't put any chemicals on the field because he just planted it a couple days ago. So hopefully, there's no chemicals and I won't get sick from this. But if I do, it's for your guys' benefit. So, here I go.
Okay. Well, to me, it actually just tasted like regular water. Uh, as you can see, there's water pouring out of it from when I took drinks of it. And it says to blow through the, uh, blow back out through it just to make sure that you've got it all uh, cleaned out, like I said, to keep it from getting clogged. And as you can see, that water there is uh, running out of it. So the water itself tasted just fine. It didn't taste, uh, I didn't taste any weird, funky, anything weird or funky in it. Uh, it wasn't grainy or gritty. There was no, no minerals or anything. So, you know, I'm pretty sure this actually works. I mean, they probably wouldn't sell it if it didn't work. And it wouldn't sell to the customers if it didn't work. So, uh, like I said, there was no difference in the taste. It all tasted like water. Uh, let me just go try this again just to make sure that uh, there's nothing going wrong or anything like that. Which I'm sure there's not, but it's just to be safe and sorry. Oh, man. That's pretty good water to tell you. Nice and cool, actually. Like I said, we just had a rain last night. All the water was draining from the fields, so. Uh, yeah, it's actually really good. It tastes just like regular water, so I'd say this Life Straw definitely works. Um, pretty happy that I bought it. Uh, for $20, that's a pretty dang good steal. Uh, not too bad. Okay guys, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about this Life Straw if you've bought one and tried one out. I definitely recommend it out of 10 stars. I'll probably give it 9 out of 10, probably 10 out of 10 actually. Just because of the fact that it actually works. And I know there's probably some filters out there where they claim it works, but it really doesn't. And I want to make sure that I'm not getting sick from any of this water if there's any uh, any sort of pathogen or bacteria in the water itself, or pesticides even, pesticides or herbicides from this farm, or not the farm, the, the fields. But, like I said, for $20, how can you go wrong with that? I mean, it's a great buy for $20, so I definitely recommend it. Once again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to, if you found this video to be helpful and interesting, Please click the like button down below and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.